Hi, welcome to the Balanced Body Podcast. My name is Ada Wells, and I'm owner of Pro Balance Physical Therapy and Pilates in Alameda, California. Joining me today is Roxana Cohen, and what we're going to do is talk to you about the importance of upper and lower body uh, dissociation when it comes to the golf swing. Now, what I mean by this is when a person is doing any sort of rotational sport where they have to propel their body forward, the analogy is like cracking a whip. When you crack a whip, you need to have an acceleration and deceleration of that whip for you to transfer that energy along a wave to the end where you get the crack or the power. If for some reason you just take that whip and you lift it up and you stop, there's going to be no power with that. So what occurs in the golf swing is that when you get to the top of your swing, at that transition right before your downswing, you need to be able to accelerate first from the hips, so we need to dissociate and get that, that part moving first, and then it's going to ac accelerate, decelerate, to then transfer the energy to the thoracic spine, to the arm, to the club, and then the ball uh, to go ahead, and that's where we're going to generate the power from our swing. So one way that we're going to actually test this is something called a torso rotation test. And so I'm going to have Roxana go ahead and take the dowel, place it across your chest, and you're going to go into what I call a five iron position, or your setup position. From here, you're going to keep your pelvis nice and stable, and I want you just smoothly to rotate your body side to side. Now, I have the dowel here so we can see how well she's able to rotate, so you get an idea of if she's limited in her, hip, in her thoracic mobility. But I'm also watching that she's able to keep stability in her hips. Let's go ahead and let's pretend that she didn't have any stability in your hips. You might see her move side to side, and this would be indicative of not being able to dissociate the two. Okay, so now that we've determined if she has a problem, we can go ahead and do some exercises to address this. So the first exercise that we're going to do is one that requires a reformer. And I'm going to place the spring on one red spring. And I'm going to have you go ahead and just place your arms in front of you. And actually, I would like to have a magic circle, but I have it aside right now. So we're just going to place our hands in front. We're going to take a breath in, and as you exhale, go ahead and extend your legs out. Inhale, come back in. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to maintain a nice upright pelvis, and just establishing that good pelvic position to start. Okay, now we're going to incorporate the rotation. Now, I'm going to actually switch her breathing on this. I'm going to have her inhale to rotate. So you're going to inhale, rotate, and extend the legs, and exhale, come to center. We're going to do the same direction. Inhale, and exhale, back to center. One more time. Inhale, rotate, and exhale, back to center. We'll do the other side. Inhale, think about spiraling tall, and exhale back. And I have her inhaling on the rotation, because usually during the backswing, the person's going to inhale, and then they're going to exhale to initiate the movement from the pelvis. One more time. And back to center. Great. Now, we're going to progress this by having her stand up. So let me just have you go ahead and carefully step off the reformer. I'm going to go ahead and place the reformer a little bit lower here, out of the way. And I'm going to have you step as close as you can to the bar without your leg touching. And let's go ahead and place your foot on here. I'll just have the hook of your heel right here, and you're going to try to keep your, fl your foot flat. So first of all, we're just going to start with that, s with that single leg extending out. Inhale back in. And I'm watching to make sure that as she extends that leg out, I don't see any movement occur at the pelvis. One more time. And back. Now this time, as you do that, we're going to rotate towards the side and back in. And I like to have them initially rotate towards the side of the leg. That's the easier version for them, and that's going to be closer to when they're doing a backswing. But then the more challenging one is going to be going to the left. Let's go ahead and rotate to the left. And we really have to keep that pelvis back to center, stabilized here. So this is where she's going to be doing all her work. And one more time. And relax. Good. And so we would obviously repeat this on both sides. And those are great exercises, or that's a couple great exercises for dissociation. Now, we can also do an exercise um, on the reformer in a kneeling position. So let's go ahead and we're going to place the reformer, place the headrest up here. I'm going to place this on one yellow spring. And I'm going to have you go ahead and just get yourself in a kneeling position. And this, one of the things I like to use for a lot of my golfers as my handle is the, the roll down bar from the trapeze table or from your tower. So I'm going to go ahead and place this on the reformer. Let's go ahead and grab hold so that you have the, the clip is actually attached 
from the direction, uh, at the direction she's going to be rotating. Sitting upright, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to rotate everything to the side. We're going to try to keep the pelvis straight ahead, so we're going to try that again. Let's go ahead and rotate to the right and back to center. Now initially we can allow her head to follow, and you can actually allow the, the carriage to keep even going this direction. There we go, so we get a little more of a full rotation. And let's rotate all the way to the right and all the way back. Beautiful. Now we can actually this time have you look straight ahead and do that same rotation but without moving your head. So just the body's going to move and the head stays still. This is going to be closer to what they're going to experience in a golf swing where their head's going to be pretty much steady. And then if we wanted to just progress it, um, we can actually, to work a little bit of coordination with this as well, I'm going to have you actually turn your head opposite of the direction you rotate. It takes a little bit more thought. There you go. And back to center. And really feel like the rotation comes from the ribs. Good. And center. We'll do one more. And rotate. And back to center. Beautiful. So those are some great, rota or great exercises for helping you work on dissociation of the upper and lower body.